Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alex here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today, I wanted to make a quick video to talk about why I closed my account with Marcus by Goldman Sachs. I had the Money Market Savings account that was earning a 5.30% APY, which is a really good interest rate for the money market at this time. However, recently, I was trying to log into the online banking to check my funds, but my online banking was completely blocked. And I was worried because I thought there might be some fraudulent transactions on my account. So when I called the customer service, they said that the reason that my online banking is put on hold is because there was an external account transfer that they couldn't verify. They need to verify that the external account belongs to me. And then they say that there's no way they can verify the account without myself with CIT Bank, which is my external account where I transfer my money from, and with also Marcus Bank. So in my mind, I'm really not happy about this. I'm thinking like, why do I need to be involved? And also I happened to call them on a Saturday and they said that the other bank might be closed. They asked me to call back next week. So the following day I called them back and I was speaking with the representative and they did a three-way call with First Citizens Bank. So first of all, I transferred my money from the CIT bank account over to Marcus Bank. So what happened is that the CIT Bank is a subsidiary of First Citizens Bank. And when I did the transfer to Marcus Bank, it's gonna show up as First Citizens Bank. So when we reached out to First Citizens Bank, they said that I do not have an account with them, which is true because CIT Bank and First Citizens Banks are two different banks. So I explained the situation to Marcus Bank representative, and I told them that we have to call CIT Bank, not First Citizens Bank. And all of a sudden I got transferred to Citibank when I specifically told them that I need to talk to CIT Bank. So which just like... Because <laughs> <laughs> at that time I had something else going on. So I said, I don't have time for this. I have to call back another day. So the third time I called them back and I explained the situation one more time to the Marcus Bank representative. And they still insist on they have to call the First Citizens Bank to verify the account first. So that is fine with me. So we call First Citizens Bank and then we we'll finally call CIT Bank. So long story short, we're finally able to get CIT Bank representative on the line with us. And I gotta say, shout out to CIT Bank representative. And she is very professional and she's resolved the problem for us in a matter of minutes. When the whole conversation with Marcus Bank took over an hour. So at the end, I asked the Marcus representative if this will happen again in the future. And they said that, yes, it's possible that they're going to need to verify other external account transfers in the future as well, just like what we did today. She said something along the lines of we're trying to protect our customers from fraud. So at the end of the day, I don't want this to happen again in the future. So I decided to go ahead and close out my Marcus bank account. And I transfer all my funds back to CIT Bank. First of all, with CIT Bank, they're paying a 5.05% APY as of today. With CIT Bank, I never ran into any issues. I've been able to do all my banking online. The only time I have to call the customer service is because of Marcus Bank. And just that one single occurrence, that representative sounds more professional than all three of the representative I spoke with at Marcus Bank. So with this situation, I think there's three things that Marcus Bank could have done better. First of all, they should have the ability to go ahead and verify that external account belongs to myself. They should not need me to be on the phone with the customer service to do a three-way call. They need to take the responsibility to verify that external account belongs to me. And the second thing is that the external accounts were already verified by using the two-step verification process over a month ago. And all of a sudden, now they're asking me to verify that external account belongs to me. And the third thing is that the transfer is actually a deposit into Marcus Bank. It's not a withdrawal. I think they should worry more about withdrawals over deposits because withdrawals are subject to more fraudulent activities. With deposits, I can deposit from any bank I want, even third-party deposits. I don't understand why they blocked my account because of deposits and they need to verify my external account. At the end of the day, I'm looking for an online account, not on the phone with the customer service account. 
So enough of me rambling about Marcus Fink. I think everyone will have different experiences. I just wanted to share my personal experience I had because I had recommended Marcus Bank in my previous videos. So I feel like I have the responsibility to share with you guys some of the negative things about Marcus Bank as well. But hey, maybe you guys will never run into any issues with Marcus Bank. But I just wanted to put this out there for my viewers to see. Anyways, for money market savings account, I will still recommend the CIT Bank that is currently paying a 5.05% APY right now. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.